Anyway, chances are you're probably watching the game if you're here from your couch, a nice bar, or you're taking food to a Super Bowl party. The Super Bowl, we found out, is second only to Thanksgiving for the amount of food that Americans eat. Aaron Jones talking to shoppers tonight about that and the prices we're seeing right now. Heading into the weekend, shelves are stocked with Super Bowl staples. Football fans like Harlan Bailey shopping for the big game. Barbecue chicken is always a good one. Um, also, of course, you know, your regular hamburgers and hot dogs. I'd say um, as far as food goes, definitely get a couple dips on hand. Then uh, definitely make sure the fridge is stocked with some nice beer. Super Bowl party is usually wings, uh, dip, stuff like that. I'm making red beans. This year, shoppers finding some savings on the cost of wings. According to Wells Fargo, prices are 17% lower than last year. For guacamole lovers, even bigger savings on avocados, they've dropped about 27%. You will be paying more for most snack aisle products, which are up about 11%. Beer also up almost 9%. However, there are ways that you can save. One way, look for generic store brand options. Different stores will have different foods that they're promoting. Get online, do a little bit of homework before you go out, see where you can really save money. Shoppers we spoke to say normally they look for those deals, but for the Super Bowl, they're willing to splurge. And especially when I get to spend time with my friends and family, then I'm always gonna, you know, go out where I can. I mean, it's fun time, you're with your friends, so you can kind of forget about that. And the National Retail Federation says overall Super Bowl spending is expected to hit 16.5 billion this year. That's up 2 billion from last year. More people expected to watch this year's game. In Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News.